What's up guys, my name is Case. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video and what I'm going to be talking about with you guys today is my thoughts and opinions of the Infinite Warfare beta. So let's get straight into it. Now before I start the video, I do want to say this is a different camera angle and you will see the setup video soon. That's all I'm going to say about it. So to talk about the Infinite Warfare beta that went from Friday to Monday, I'm going to let you guys know about my opinions, what I thought about it, what should they fix. And what should they just not do at all? Now, the first time I played the beta was on Friday night because the servers were down all Friday, which was terrible. But I played the game. I played a game of it, and I was like, I really do like this game. Like, it clicked like this. I really enjoyed playing the beta. Now, of course, everything isn't going to be perfect, and it's not always perfect. There are some things they can fix, and we're going to touch on that today. Now, one thing I do want to say, you guys probably have to say this too, time to kill, basically. And they do have to fix that just a little bit i feel like you die too fast and you probably can't get a kill that fast like it's just weird you know i would shoot first i would die like that doesn't add up they have to fix that they do have a little bit of time till the game actually starts not so much time but they do have time that they can fix little things like this another thing this is for all you snipers out there maybe fix the time that the snipers have to cock back when you shoot just a little bit other than that the snipers they're actually really fun to use i might have a sniping gameplay for you guys later on. I really do like what they did with the submachine guns and SO rifles. I feel like there's about two to three good submachine guns that are really good, that are valid, that you can use in a game and they won't just destroy you, and two good ARs. So they kind of kept it a little bit balanced. Now, of course, every Call of Duty, they do bring out a patch, they do fix those, they do change up the weapons a lot. So the guns that you play with now that are really good, they might not be five months into the game if you guys get what i mean they do change a lot of the gun you know rate the fire rate and all of that one thing i do want to say when i was you know ran out of ammo with my gun i would turn to my pistol because i thought i had the rk5 from black ops 3 well that's not the case i think that they should add some better pistols in the game or just fix them just a tad bit because I feel like I can't get a pistol only gameplay with the pistols. They're not that strong to me. I can't use them as a secondary weapon. To me, they're just not the best. Now, the perks they added, great. This gives me kind of a Call of Duty Ghost feeling, but a futuristic type. But it's like balanced to me. I really do like the game. I think it's fun. I think the maps could be better. You know, the map that I really did not like was, you know, Frontier. That map was kind of weird. It was fun to play. Yes, of course. They were everywhere you can get shot from. I noticed I got shot from behind a lot. And that's not that good. You never want to get shot from behind too much. And I feel like that was happening to me. But it is that map. Frontier, it's everywhere. It's just a chaotic map. But a game, a map like Throwback, that was actually a really good map. One of my favorites in the beta. I really did enjoy that map. I'm definitely excited to see what other game modes they bring to the actual game. This is, of course, the beta. They put this out there so they can see what we, what they did wrong, basically. Take our opinions and put it into the game. Hopefully, they actually do listen to us and do help and fix some of the stuff in the game basically now i do want to touch up on the combat rigs now the combat rigs aren't overpowered they aren't you know underrated they aren't overpowered i think they're okay they feel like a regular gun to me they're basically specialists from black ops 3 they're, they're the same exact thing they do have a trait like right now i'm looking um i have the synaptic combat rig uh, yeah, and the trait I have is propulsion, and basically that is improved thrusters of thrusters allowed energy to re recover faster. It's like extra perk with these combat rigs, which is cool, but you have to have the specialist, of course. Um, and basically this combat rig turns into like a dog, but it has the same health as any other player so what is the point if you guys get me and i'm not saying go over the top and just make these combat rigs insanely overpowered or you know you know, there's nothing you can really do about it. If you don't want to make them overpowered, I guess you got to leave them like that. One other thing I would like to mention is about the supply drops. I feel like they should make it that you can earn the keys faster. I feel like I'm earning them way too slow. At the moment, I have 29 keys and 989 salvage points, whatever. And I feel like you should be able to earn those keys faster. I feel like I'm earning one key or two keys each game. I think we should earn about three or four. I think that would be okay. Um, I really do want to bring a supply drop opening to you guys. I just couldn't. I didn't get the daily keys. I didn't get enough of them, basically. 
But, yeah, those are my thoughts on the supply drops. Other than that, I think it's a cool system how you can buy upgrades to your gun. I'm also very excited to use some of the classic weapons in the actual game when it does come out. I think that'd be very cool to use, you know, the Spaz-12 or the Intervention and stuff like that. I think it'd be very cool to use those classic weapons in the actual game. But so far than that, I think the game is really fun. It's a really great game. It's got really good mechanics. I don't think the movement is too overpowered. That's another thing. I think it's just okay. So yeah, that's basically my thoughts and opinions on the Infinite Warfare beta. I want to know what you guys think. Be completely honest down in the comments below. And also, these are my opinions. So if you don't like them, that's all right. Just leave down in the comments below what you guys think of the beta. What should they fix? What should they add? And what should they do? Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe down below if you guys are new. Uh, let's get 50 likes on today's video. That'd be incredible. But yeah, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. I've been Kays. See you all in the next one. Peace out. I, I, I used to feel so devastating. Yeah. Yeah. At times I